Hi, this is uh, CS Trades 101. Uh, my name is Cameron Simpson. Um, I'll be going over some Canadian stocks, some American stocks, AMC, BlackBerry, Suncor, Air Canada. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stocks out there that uh, are doing really good that uh, a lot of uh, people don't know about. So we're going to go over this stuff uh, today. And um, if you have any questions or comments, you can just put down into our chat box. Um, yeah, so um, we'll get started here. Um, we're going to start off with, um, I'm not a financial supervisor, or do I want to be one? I'm just doing this for broker. I'm just doing this for fun and um, to help um, people um, find out the stocks that uh, are undervalued that they could possibly, on their own terms, make some money. Okay, let's get started here. Water. Okay, so so what we'll get into right here is um, we're going to get into some we're going to get into AMC this morning. <coughs> okay, got her on the one minute chart. Perfect. Okay, well, I just wanted to check out some lines of resistance here. Um, wow, uh, it's doing worse than I thought. Actually, we're down. Actually, I'll, uh, we're at ten point one zero right now per share. It's down 5.20 this morning. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're heading about, about 2 o'clock, uh, 1.30, 2 o'clock um, on the New York Stock Exchange and um, we're at uh, 11 o'clock here, pretty much a couple minutes to 11. Okay, so line of resistance, the the line of resistance, we, what we're having is 10.10 .10 right now. Um, 10.10.1 actually that's what that is showing right here okay so um, yeah we got the next line is right here we got a <laughs> yeah this is a backslid quite a bit on this um, wow look I just noticed this right over here in the corner right here um, 30,640 shares to be bought at ten dollars and eight cents wow that's a big order so I just wanted to go back we'll just take this uh, We'll take this off uh, pivot point and we're going to take the volume off right now. But that, that's just crazy. Hey, look at that volume. We don't have enough volume. We need more volume um, to get this to actually uh, to do a squeeze or to be exposed. You would, I guess the proper uh, English would be. So I'm just going back here. I'm going to blow this up a bit just so you guys can see it. Look at this pattern. Consistent, eh? Wow. Like, look at this, for instance. Look at that consolidation. And yeah, that's what we want to see is that sideways movement. Right? The stock that goes up like really high, like hundreds of percent, and then comes down the next day like a couple hundred percent is is not good at vol volatile. Like it's it's not a good stock to be in. Um, you potentially could lose lots of money. Potentially you could make lots of money. But I stay away from those personally. Um, it's you're just throwing money away as far as I'm concerned. You're just giving it back to the market. Okay. So AMC uh, I just wanted to tell you that they did um, open up all their theaters, well, 90% um, with COVID regulations um, across the states. Um, and I think there was something in China. I could be wrong. If you want to drop it in the chats, I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over um, that. So th there's possibly, I think that there, it's undervalued still. I think that, uh, I think ACM um, is, I, I think it's about a $20 stock, uh, about 14, 14 $20. <laughs> I'm a little biased on that a bit um, because I own shares and I bought I bought them at a uh, first 10% drop when it was at 20 or, or the first $5 drop and uh, yeah I, I bought in um, probably a bad time to buy in but I did my research my due diligence and I found out that uh, this stock is a good stock and I did some past research on it always look to go back like a year like look, look at this go back to let's go back to weeks Okay, we'll see. Look at there, there it is. There's the twenty dollars and seventy cents that it was up, right? Mm, that was in s September, November, December area. Oh no, that was in January. Sorry, guys. Um, I remember that because um, yeah, I was watching the screen. I couldn't sleep for weeks. I was stuck to this screen. So I learned now to. That's why I've started doing my own videos and stuff to to clarify some of this stuff, right? So let's get into some. Uh, we've covered. Uh, we're not gonna. We're gonna cover. Um, we'll go G GME for a bit here. I'm just gonna go back to the one minute chart because there's a lot of volume here, right? 
so you can actually see it instead of it being gapped out. So, a little bit of consolidation here. What are they? 146.81. Okay, it's down. Whoa, I never noticed that this morning. 19.38% down today. I don't follow this stock that much. I don't know if there's any news or anything that's happened. Um, I can do a quick check here. Let's just see. No, there's nothing there. Yeah, nah, there's nothing there to drive that price down. Um, I think it's just a lot of people selling because as you can see up in here, look at look at the sell ratio. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's crazy, man. There's a lot of people buying and selling that stock, constantly flipping the stocks between each other's hands. Um, so what I'm going to get into um, right now is we're going to get into BlackBerry. Okay, let's get on the charts here. Okay. So BlackBerry is, um, I got it on the five minute chart just because it's, uh, we'll, we'll try the one minute chart. It might be a little gappy here. Yeah, it's a little gappy. So um, I, I go on those ones because they don't have that much volume, right? So um, the candles are, are, are um, gapped out like that. It doesn't have enough time for the wick to, to grow before it's uh, before the computer uh, switches it over um, on the alpha rhythms, okay? So I just wanted to tell you um, that um, I do have stake in this stock too. Um, I have about $5,000. Um, I did buy high in this one too. That's why I'm making this video. Um, I, I think I bought it $20 when it was up high. Like, um, it was up really high. Here, well, let's just check it. We'll go to date. Yeah, 30. it was at $36 at one time, right? And that was at the beginning of the year, right? I think I bought down in here. Yeah, I bought in the 20, yeah, I did. Yeah, I let it drop, and I thought I knew what I was doing, but obviously not. Um, but I, there's a reason why I put money into this, okay, to this share, BlackBerry, okay? It is a, it, it is a, a Canadian-owned uh, company, right, for one thing. Um, that doesn't make it whether I buy a stock or not, if it, where the stock's from, who it's made, who it's made by. It, that doesn't matter. I, I always go check the news. So let's go check this. Uh, this is just uh, Weeble, um, the news analysis um, that's built in the program. It's, it's pretty irrelevant. Um, I, I use other sources, but um, for stuff like this. Okay, let's go into BlackBerry introduces BlackBerry Alert Next Generation Critical uh, <coughs> Event Management for the Commercial Sector. Okay, in plain English, what that means is BlackBerry um, has stakes in um, face recognition software. They have an awesome security system now. Um, Supposedly, um, they have uh, platforms for driver's list vehicles, which they're talking about down in here somewhere. I seen it earlier. It is down in here. Um, driver's list platforms. No, I've seen it somewhere in here. Oh yeah, enhance radar to help the transportation business improve. Okay, they want to get into uh, uh, um, to protecting uh, crucial software like their like. Uh, against viruses and stuff like that on these big, big, big government computers and stuff that like, say Tesla runs um, runs a, a, a huge computer program to run their cars and they're automatically, they can detect them, they can shut your car off while you're driving it. They can um, improve the battery, the b amount of kilometers the car can drive. It's crazy and crazy. I personally don't like them having that much control over me, but what do you do nowadays, right? What you do is you find out and you buy into your stock what company and car you have to support them. If you really think that that car or that company is a good, then go with your gut feeling, okay? Um, I, I haven't gone with my gut feeling in the past. Now I have. It makes you a substantial amount of money, okay? And this is only over a couple months, so that's why I'm on here to share this with you. You just, just take this with a grain of salt. You do your own research, okay, guys? Because um, I'm not a financial supervisor um, or I'm not a stockbroker. I don't want to be one. I'm having fun doing this and helping you guys. Opening up different types of stocks on the market, like BlackBerry. BlackBerry has the most held stocks, uh, not stocks, sorry, the uh, patents in the world for software tech, okay? The 3,000 shares, or, or um, stop saying shares, Cameron. Um, 3,000, um, what is it? Uh, Dead, don't you hate to do this, especially when you're on live? Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah. But we're going to go over here. We're going to go over. Um, I was going to jump out of here. I want to go to this stock called uh, Air Canada. Okay, let's get out of the charts here. Okay, Air Canada do have stakes into. Um, um, about $5,000 worth of shares. I think uh, two, 
220 shares. I actually bought this at $23. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm very satisfied the way this is turning out. Um, I do have it on one day because uh, our Canadian stocks don't, don't get traded as much as um, the American stocks do. See, it's a little gappy. So usually I would go to five minutes on this one. Okay, whoa. What time is that? Oh, look at that. Look at that drive, eh? How many, how many, what's the volume? I don't know if it's half a million. Wow. Okay, so we're at right now. Uh, see, Consolidate's pretty good. Air Canada is a huge company. I um, I think they bought out a bunch of stuff in um, Canada. Um, and, and like I said, it's our it's our aviation sector. It's the biggest. Okay, I bought in Air Canada. People are telling me, don't buy in Air Canada. Don't buy in Air Canada. Don't buy in Air Canada. Um, it's going to crash. They're going to go bankrupt. They're going to be filing for bankruptcy. Yeah, they might be, but do your due diligence. Okay, number one. It's the biggest aviation f company in Canada fleet, or you want to call it, right? The government is not going to let them go bankrupt. They're going to let them go bankrupt and file for bankruptcy, but they're going to bail them out, okay? They're not going to let them sell or, or go diminish or uh, whatever uh, you want to call it. Uh, it would cripple the country. These little carriers like West General, they can't carry that load, right? Especially for parcels and deliveries from different countries. Um, they have that cargo net, right? Air Canada's cargo net. Nobody can keep up to that, right? So anyways, um, I just wanted to go over that. Um, and now they're doing COVID testing, I guess, at the airports, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we're, we're gonna have a little bit of a struggle here with uh, Air Canada to, uh, to, keep us, uh, to keep us going there, right? So anyways, I'll get back on to uh, some other stuff here besides Air Canada here. Um, we're going to get on to uh, Loop Energy. This is a really exciting one, okay? Look at, check out the one minute, how gappy that is, eh? The problem with this is the company doesn't have that many shares, okay? They're a small company, okay? Like, look at this. Look at the average volume, 158,000 shares. Like, that's crazy, man. Okay, so what this company started at was $17.44, okay? I've been watching this. Um, I see suspended here again. Sorry, guys, I shouldn't be laughing. But this, oh, it went out again. It, they turned it, they, uh, they took the halt off. The problem with this company is, um, I don't know. There's a reason why I'm not buying into it. It's just that some weird stuff. They're suspended at least 10 times a day. It's been like that. So every time they go in the minus, they suspend it. So that I, uh, I would love to buy into this. Uh, these guys are into fuel cells, hydrogen fuel cells, okay? Awesome company, especially if it breaks free and goes into, like, say, BC Transit or Alberta Transit or, or anywhere in, in the world. That's huge, huge for they, they do commercial trucks like buses and all that. Oh, they just suspended, they just took it off. See, that's what I'm talking about with this company. So let's, uh, excuse me, let's get into some news on this. Um, but yeah, like I said, $17 a share and it's down to thirteen forty one, right? So I would like to buy this company at like $7 a share. I feel very, very confident and comfortable at that. I just don't. I don't know I just I'm all over the place on this one so I put it on the back burner that's what I do I put it on a watch list and I watch it okay guys so that's another Canadian stock okay this is another one this company is not Canadian um, they are up here too but they're uh, out of California I'm pretty sure okay um, plug or unplug is it called unplug I think it, they went partners okay this company's pretty neat man they um, you know the f-34 size I was f 28 is 24 that's your car battery size okay um, these guys have got the 34 the f-34 is for fleet um, and marine group so it's so their, their, their lithium battery is is, is awesome um, 6,000 charge cycles uh, very they just manage the cold um, in the cold sector they've actually um, it, it doesn't do that bad like it, it doesn't lose that much um, that much dis displacement of energy of cold cranking out so it, it's a really good battery. Um, the prices are a little bit expensive. They will come down. Um, they're using them in, in NASCAR. Um, and you don't have that lead acidic battery. These are maintenance free. You leave it alone. Like they always say maintenance free battery. But, and they don't work, right? So um, this is definitely a um, revelation into batteries. Um, yeah, it, it replaces, like I said, you can take it right out of your car and drop another one in. So if you want to do some research on that, um, the Global News covers it lots here in, um, in, in, in British Columbia. Okay, so yeah, we'll have a look at that. 
So you're, the shares are only 50, 58 and some change, 58, right? So uh, they're on a bit of a dip um, right now. So what's their lowest they've ever been? That's today's low, 60 cents, 60 cents. Previous, oh, maybe 54 is the lowest they've ever been. Wow, that's a good time to buy actually, guys. I think that this company could do pretty good. A lot of consolidation here and uh, yeah, so it consolidates pretty good here. Um, so I just want to jump into one more company here. Um, I'm going to jump into, what do we got um, left here? Oh, let's go, let's go into Visions Lithium. Okay, they're out of uh, Quebec. They're the only company that I know of, if you want to put something in the chats that's different, they're the company that I know of that actually um, has 99% pure lithium. Okay, um, perfect for, uh, for all your smart cars, for the batteries. They need these lithium components to make. Um, to make their batteries right and there's supposed to be a shortage because the um, it's the purity that they're after well it's supposed to be the purest stuff um, this the shares are actually really cheap in this company twenty three dollars that's it, or, or sorry twenty three cents big mistake there that's a huge difference so anyways uh, twenty three cents um, like you can buy a whack of shares like I bought thirty two thousand right so when that goes up, that's like that that moves a lot, man. That, like that Barry pads your bank account. It's awesome. It's awesome when those shares go up when you buy them that cheap right here, right? Oh, it just dropped the game. There you go, guys. There you go. Just as we're talking, it went down to 23. There you go. That's the low. I would buy. I would definitely buy, guys. Yeah, that's the lowest because I might even buy some more shares today. I said might. I, I don't know. Um, this is my portfolio, guys, right here. Um, it's growing. Like I said, I'm starting out um, doing this for a little bit, but I want it to grow with you guys, right? I want I want you to see it grow, and I want you to grow with me, okay, guys and ladies and gentlemen. So, anyways, guys, girls, YouTube, um, if you wanted to hit the subscribe button down below, um, would be well appreciated. And um, yeah, I will continue to. Um, do some more podcasts to explain some more of this stuff if you do leave in the comments what you want me to cover if you want me to cover um, more stuff or if you're not clear on something um, very transparent on that I will go through this stuff with you um, and um, these are just some of the ones that some other people have like I said it was in my portfolio but I'm very educated in these stocks um, a lot of people have asked me to cover these stocks too so I have done so okay you guys have a great day and um, yeah, this is it. Peace out, guys.